Hello there, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's keyword research video, I'd like to share with you how you can find low competition keywords. So just yesterday I was asked, Chris, how do I find low competition keywords? I've done keyword research and I'm seeing varying keyword difficulty scores from different tools. How do I really pick the best one? Be and, and this made a lot of sense to me because if you're doing keyword research, you're putting in all that time, all that energy, potentially you're going to write it yourself or pay somebody to write it. You want to be targeting the best keyword possible to get the best rankings. So I want to walk you through step by step exactly once you've done your keyword research, how do you pick which one's going to be the lowest competition for the best rankings? So I want you to stay until the end, please, because I did a little bit of research just to see, is there anybody else talking about this? And there are a few people, but what they failed to mention, at least the videos that I saw was one key element. And at the end, I'm going to share that with you. It's, and it's so crucial to any campaign. So let's not waste any time. Let me get right into exactly how you find the lowest competition. So what you're going to need is obviously you have your website. It's about cheap cameras for this particular example. Now we've done our keyword research for this example. What I went ahead and did is I utilized just these right here. All right. So let's just copy these over. All right. We'll just redo it together. We'll paste it in. All right. So this is going to be the other keywords that we go for. Actually, you know what? Let's go for the bigger ones, right? Because we're, we, we, we like hard stuff, right? Let's go over here. We'll do these even better. All right. Cause you're probably not going for super weak terms. You probably want harder terms and that makes sense to me. All right. So let's just grab these. All right. So now by no stretch of the imagination, am I saying that this is keyword research? What I'm getting at is I'm trying to compile a list quickly. This is just for sake of example. All right. So we have cheap cameras and we have to get the volumes. All right. And this is step number one. Now we have the volumes which are listed here. So we're, we're thinking about this keyword and here's the volume. This is how many times are people are literally searching for this keyword, at least according to SEM rush. And I love it. SEM rush for it, definitely for keyword research. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We're going to head over here to Google. All right. So we go to Google and we've already did our keyword research. We have these here. So we're going to say cheap cameras is number one. All right. So copy that. And then what we want to do is we need to figure out in title colon. We're going to put a space and we're going to see how many people actually are optimizing for this particular keyword. Now, why this is so important is one of the key places on a website to put a keyword is going to be in your title. All right. It's, it's literally one of the most important places with the URL and also the H1 almost being weighted the same. All right. I probably say URL, then title, then the H1. If I had to put my guess on it. All right. So what we need is we need the volume. That was step one. We wrote that down on either a text document, like I'm using here or a sheet, right? A sheet or an Excel spreadsheet, whatever you want to use. We have our volume. We got that from the tool. Now we need from Google. What is here? This up here is going to be how many times somebody has it in the title, right? How many pages actually have it in the title? So we're going to go ahead and just write that down. Now for sake of time, for sake of the video, all right, just like the keyword research I did, which was one, two, three, four, five, right? You would obviously have a list, but we'll go over here. We're going to copy this and we're going to do the same exact thing for cheap security cameras. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put that in here and we need to figure out how many people are optimizing for this, right? It's going to give us a result, which is five, eight, two, zero, zero, a zero. So we're going to go ahead and put that down. All right. So we'll do two. Let's do one more. All right. Again, you would want to do it for every single keyword. Okay. And you need the volume. And then we need to see how many people have it inside of their title. How many people are optimizing for this particular keyword? So we have 24, six. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this here now. The next step in this particular strategy or technique, however you want to look at it, 
is you're going to need your calculator unless you're a math whiz. I, of course, am not. I will be needing the aid of a calculator. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the amount of people who have it in the title. So that's going to be 1,550,000. Okay, 1,550,000 people have this in their title. They're optimized for it, all right, at least in the title. We're going to divide that by the amount of volume that people are actually searching for it, all right? So that's 12,100 people, all right? And that is going to give us a number, all right? It's going to be 128. Is All we need is this first number. So then we're going to come over here, and we're going to write that down. Paste. Now we're going to do it for the very next keyword that we're thinking about targeting, all right? So that's going to be 582,000, okay? We're going to divide that by the volume. So we're taking optimized titles, dividing it by the actual volume for the keyword. So divided by 6,600. Okay, and that'll give us a number, which is 88, all right? Now, we're going to do one more just for the sake of the video, for time, all right? Paste, and then we have this one here. This is our last number, all right? So we're going to take 24,000 people, 600, have it inside of their title. They're optimized for it. We're dividing that by our search volume, which is 6600 equals. Now, again, stick with me. Because I've seen, I, I've, you know, this isn't a new technique, but I am sharing it with you. But there's a key element that a lot of people left out. I, I watched two videos and they weren't talking about the next step that I'm going to show you. And this is crucial. I mean, for any campaign, what I'm going to sh share with you is definitely crucial. It should be done for almost everything. So what this is, is now we have a 3.7. So, all right, so that's a three. Now. I feel like I maybe missed something there. Let me just do something. 24,600, right? And we're going to divide that by 6,600. No, it's a three. All right. So it's actually a seven, so that would be a four. But nonetheless, now, the number that we have, all right, the number that we came to, this is the keyword ratio, okay? This is what you're looking for is the number that is the lowest, all right? After you go through this, you've done your math, all right? You came up with particular numbers that are probably decimal related like I just did here. They should be. You're coming up with numbers, all right? Now, when you've done your research, let's say that you have 20 opportunities of keywords that you're looking at. You're going down the list. You're trying to pick the number, right? This last number right here, as you, as you can see with my cursor, whatever number is the lowest, then this is the lowest competition. This is going to be the best keywords to be targeting for low competition. Now, here's the crucial step, all right, that was missed by everybody, almost, right? Or the videos that I watched. So here's what you would do. So if we came to the realization that, okay, the best keyword is going to be target this one here. So what you need to do is you need to head right over to Google and you're going to literally type it in. All right, so cheap vlogging camera. Now, once you type that in, you need to take a look at the search results. Literally, do a search and take a look at the results. Because if I'm looking at page number one, I can see, okay, there's videos, there's a video enhancement. Number one is Amazon. I'm not taking spot one. I go down the list. Two, Best Buy. Three, Vlogger Pro. For Omnicore Agency, then Tech Radar, then CNET, then Premium Beat, then Digital Camera World, Pinterest, Traveling Girl. And what we're looking for is, is the entire first page dominated by behemoth websites? Is there even a chance that my site could even end up on the first page? Because even though we've gone through the math, we've done search volume, we've looked at the people who are optimized. We've came up with a number. We, we've done it very cleverly. We've done our keyword research. If you go and you do a manual search and you see that it's just flooded with monster websites, super strong sites, then you need to look at the next keyword in the list. 
So that's going to wrap up today's video. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any further questions related to SEO, keyword research, anything, anything at all, always feel free to go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And I most certainly look forward to seeing you in the next keyword research, how to find low competition keywords video. Have a wonderful day.